I'm DJ Rocky, and that's DJ Jeff right over there. And today, we're celebrating Malia and Devin at the beautiful Silverthorne Meadows. Let's go. Hey, you don't need to be in sport mode all the time. I, I actually prefer the lounging mode, and I have my pants <laughs> hang back so you can't tell. I'm Rocky Cavazos, and I'm your go-to MC and DJ. I've been DJing for about six years now. It was a great side hustle that turned into something much bigger than I could have ever imagined. Make sure all of them are even tougher. The beauty of bringing someone else out, uh, such as DJ Jeff, um, to assist me is we're going to be able to dial in the sound. So we could do a sound check at the ceremony location or wherever we are. Maybe we can give them we're signals like, whether to turn us down, to turn the gain up, turn the volume down, turn the mixer down. Um, we're just going to dial in. That way, when our guests arrive, it's perfect. All right, is there a spot I can set the marriage license? Oh, right here. Right here? Yeah. See, um, hold on one second. I'll give you a spot. Okay. I got you. Check one, two. In the bottom. But I'm going to be standing like right there at the top, like around those little pink flowers okay. right there. Okay. So I'll make sure I have visual with you. Maybe like one big one. Yeah. Yeah. So Shelly's role in our wedding was a wedding coordinator. So she does a lot of that behind the scenes. She makes sure that florals are there, making sure I'm there, making sure our performers are efficient, everybody's on time. She's partnering with our catering company. So she gets all that behind the scenes stuff. So my role is to make sure I support her, support that timeline they've created and see it through. The reason why they need that is they're gonna do a performance right off this way. Oh, and she has XLR cables, ah! It's a dream. Brian Q, are you just talking? Yes, okay. okay. That's perfect. We're gonna bring that. I'm gonna keep this right here. Well, I'm excited for you guys. When you, uh, if you need anything else, if Jeff is right there, I'll be walking around. Thank you so much. Now it's really unique. We usually don't have live performers for our ceremonies, but that time we had a guitarist and we had a singer doing worship during the ceremony. So part of my responsibility was to make sure that they were dialed in as well. So part of the pre-ceremony, we're doing their sound checks. All right, Devin, how are you feeling? Good. good. Do you need anything? Do you need water? I think I'm good. I'll tap some. Cool. So before the ceremony kicks off, I'll make sure all the guys are ready, make sure the ladies are ready. So I'm just doing my checks, making sure our groom is ready, try to see if he needs anything. So I want to make sure that they're comfortable and ready to just have a great time. We got it. Yep. Now I'm just checking out. So as processional is taking place, I have my eyes on Jeff and I'm listening for sound, watching him, watching the couple walk down. I'm making sure since I'm across the way, I wanna make sure it sounds good and that it's audible and not blaring. It just needs to be just perfect, equal balance sound for that location. God, thank you for the beautiful gift of marriage and for the joy that it is to celebrate this wonderful gift. We thank you today for Devin. It doesn't affect but in the day to day, day and the here and now. Now the most beautiful thing is that marriage right. is actually God's idea. Yeah. Yeah. Ceremony just wrapped and cocktail hour begins. At this time, we're gonna help them, help our photographers with photos, making sure everybody's where they need to be. So if we need to make any announcements, we're definitely gonna do that. Um, but we're gonna break down some of our ceremony and get ready for a reception. Hannah Darren, Bruce, Savannah. Our grand entrance music could be one song for all our couples and maybe another song for our bride and groom. Or, like this wedding, Everybody had their own song, which is rad. Like, that never happens. But when it does, it creates something really special. It almost was like a dance battle, like which couple had the best or which uh, partners had the best grand entrance, dance moves, props. So that was really, really cool. Mm -hmm. How's that? You're awesome. That work? You... Then we can do like the announcement for everybody to like mm -hmm. make sure they have a drink in hand. We're gonna Let's do that right now. Oh, that's what they're doing now? Yeah, I'll, I'll actually make that announcement. To get everybody prepared for toast, specifically anybody that's designated to give a toast, I have them meet with me about 10 minutes before that takes place. I invite them where they're gonna be standing, I tell them how to hold the mic, I give them instructions on how to project themselves a little bit, and really where to stand, how to look at our couple, and then how to look at the guests. And of course, no mic drop. Mic drop's not a thing with us. <laughs> I tell them, please don't drop the mic, it's expensive. Oh, 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 close, oh, yeah, close to them. Closer, closer, closer. All right, hi. 
Cl closer to them. I'm going to try to get your table up to go eat first. So you better know them. You better start checking their Facebook, their Instagram. I know answers are in there. Everybody, Devin and Malia's first dance as husband and wife. Put your hands together right now. Show them that love. For them, they wanted this vibe of high energy, 2000s, like pop. So that's the Taylors, it's the David Guettas, the Ushers, the Pitbull, the Flo Rida, the fun stuff the fun, that keeps people on the dance floor. And they wanted all the line dances, so we gave them a lot of line dances too. <laughs> so at the end of every event, I like to just connect with my couple one last time, thank them for trusting me with their big day, and I want to just commemorate it with a photo, something you could post to socials, but also something I could send to them. In this business, this industry, I end up becoming friends with the people I work with, and I treasure that, so that's really cool. I definitely think my couples would describe their party as the best party of their lives. It definitely was the greatest party of our lives. We're Karen Summer and DJ Rocky had emceed our wedding. I felt like I'd known him forever, and I was like, <laughs> oh, this is just like my friend. If I had to describe Rocky, it would probably be super friendly, super professional, organized, and somebody who I would want to party with. Yep, that's exactly how we would describe him. We are the Arnettes. DJ Rocky, DJ our wedding. <laughs> His handle is Party with Rocky, and it's pretty self-explanatory. That's exactly what happened, and everybody that was at our wedding could agree. He just made it feel super fun. Like, I remember people coming up to us afterwards and saying, your DJ was really cool. We like to party? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Rocky, and I like to party. Ready? Three, Three, two, two one. one. <laughs> Go. Every beat was on beat because of him. <laughs> Every beat was on. Every beat was on beat because of him. Yes.